Chiefs. Twelve clubs. Four countries. One goal. European glory. The best teams in the world live in the Robo Direct Pro 12. Scarlets versus Munster. Live Saturday on Fox Soccer Plus. Sheffield Wednesday, the home side, trailing Charlton 1-0 here at halftime. Just about to get going with the second half kickoff. They see the players taking back to the pitch. The 22nd minute goal from Callum Harriet is the difference right now. Wednesday, though, got back into this tie in the final 10 to 15 minutes of this first half. So a little bit more activity up front for Sheffield Wednesday and Leon Best and Danica Fobe. We'll see if they can get back into this one with a goal. Wednesday still trying to set up that sixth round draw, sixth round tie with Sheffield rivals Sheffield United. Let's go back out to Hillsborough with commentators Peter Drury and Gary O'Reilly. He's better looking brother. I think I've said enough already. Well, there is uh, the man of the moment. He is Callum Harriet, the 19-year-old for Charlton, who scored after 22 minutes of the first half and is still smiling about it. It has Charlton now within three quarters of an hour of a fifth-round tie back in this city at Bramall Lane. My time for Sheffield Wednesday to rise to the occasion. It's an occasion about which... So much has been said, so much written, around which so much expectation, but they weren't quite ready for it when it began. The first half saw a marked improvement. They have three quarters of an hour to keep alive a city's dream of a derby in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. Aimed it at best, well seen by Fox. Knocked out by Harriet and Fox away. Stuart Gray would have been peeling the paint. Necessarily, he'd be disappointed at Wednesday's failure to clear their lines, uh, which proved costly for the goal. He'll feel he might be able to get at Charlton. Fobe, Makoma, Afobe, Makoma. It's a good reach by Morrison, cleared by Harriet. Forward again by Yera. Much more purposeful from Sheffield Wednesday at the start of the second half. throw. Bit of noise, bit of rhythm in the ground, bit of momentum about Sheffield Wednesday. Looked to me like a hand that from uh, Best. And he got in the way of the onrushing would-be striker who was Coke. Information if you haven't gathered already that the uh, two 11s are as they began the first half. A phobe. Coke. Whatever you said, Stuart Gray, it's uh, energised his team. They've come out with intent, haven't they? Yes. Coke. Just got across the face. I don't know if we Mark Kallenberg does well here because Poyet goes down. There's nothing, no contact. He just takes a dive. See it here. He tries to get in front of uh, Coke and goes in front of him to claim the foul. Not for me at all. Ball for him. And he's had charge of a League Cup final, a Community Shield, the Olympic final. So, given that referees only ever get one crack at the FA Cup final, he must be about the most senior not to have done it. Could be his turn this year. Maguire. A lot of people feel that he is probably the best performing referee in the Premier League right now, so he might be right. He might be given that uh, particular trophy to uh, take charge of. Uh, 
Space. It's actually from Toyette. And again from Wilson. This is Yera. Give it away to uh, Idarovic. Slipped in for Jackson. He wasn't very far away. Strikes a clean ball, doesn't he? He does, but uh, you'd find that under speculative, wouldn't you? Going to be an awfully good strike from that distance to uh, beat Martinez. See players dwelling on the ball. And this is what happens. Interesting there, that little uh, layoff there from Adarovic. We haven't seen a great deal of him since about the first 15, 20 minutes. Something Charlton needs to change. Needs to get back into the game, start to dominate possession. Doubling ball for Martinez. Uncomfortable for him too. Cope beaten off it by Poyet. He couldn't feed it through for Idarovic. Just a bit too eager with the pass. Trying to thread the needle that he didn't have to. Afobe. Gardner. Coke. Gardner. Afobe. Maguire. out towards Bagoma. Held as far as Yera. Very different approach from Sheffield Wednesday since half time. Around the tempo. You can see. Ball's moving around much sharper now. In by Lovens. Matic will get a go. Makoma. Matic. Yeah, strong enough to see off the challenge of Coke. And he knows he didn't play the ball play yet and uh, made life difficult for Coke. That time he gets the decision. Church. Just a bit too eager there, Simon Church. You can see from the first half he squandered one or two half chances, so he's uh, going to get himself on the score sheet, take this game out of uh, the hands of Sheffield Wednesday. No doubt he's offside. This thing stand right now. Stuart Gray's Wednesday, 15th in the championship, seven places, nine points above Charlton. We do have a couple of games in hand. Stuart Gray has uh, a little place in the history of the FA Cup. He scored a goal on a very famous night for uh, Southampton at Manchester United back in February 1992, which was the first, became the first ever FA Cup tie involving a top division team to go to a penalty shootout in Southampton. Very famously beat United that night. Stuart Gray, part of that. They went through, played Bolton in the next round. He was involved in that tie too. And 22 years ago this week, in that cup tie against Bolton, he suffered the leg break that ended his career. And Morrison. Coke. Gardner. Zarevic slipped on by Cousins Long from Wilson Yara clear still we haven't had a team dominate and control midfield 
haven't seen them play and move and pass and just got 10, 12 passes stringing them together. Still fractious between the two teams. And while it's like that, this game is on the balance. Lokoma. That's a poor ball. They're going to be giving it to Harriet there. We've seen how swift he is. And Maguire gets away with a kind decision, I think. It does. But again, not able to string passes together. And Charlton still using that quick pressurising tactic. He does have a little tug, Harriet. You can see why the referee's not like that. Wednesday's way, Palmer to take. Best. Forward by Jackson. Zanovic competing for it, and uh, he's got the decision. And to me, that would have gone the other way, but Mark Paddenberg is much closer to the action than we are here. Gary Gardner's in your camp. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Wednesday free kick all day long for me, but there we go. Wood takes. Church wins it. Jackson. Cousins. Vitarovic let it bounce. Harriet. Vitarovic. Harriet. Fox. I think maybe Harriet, in a few years' time, when he's got a few games under his belt, sees Palmer, sees the space behind him, and has a right go and gets in there. At the moment, may not be confident enough to do that. Yes, yes, yes. Throw by Darich. Ah! Okay. He was just trying a little flick trick, was he there, Adarovic? He knew those two players were tight, so he was going to flick it up, hook it over, spin around the other side. Would have been lovely if it had come off. Okay, he's seen enough, Stuart Gray. There's going to be a double change here. He's gone around the shoulders, love and attention from uh, the Wednesday boss. Who clearly has his dressing room on side. Results show that. Marked up turn in fortune. Full-time manager after a period as caretaker after the fourth round win at Rochdale. Yeras won the header and best scores. And Sheffield is alive again. It's back on. Guilty. The mistake Wednesday made in the first half, clearing their own 18-yard area. They didn't do it. Yera wins. A good header at the far post. It's the second ball. It isn't cleared. And it's hacked into the roof of the net. Good for Leon Best for defending from Charlton. Well, it's his first goal in these colours, Leon Best. In his third appearance, it's coming on loan for Blackburn Rovers. As Gary said some time ago, he's scored whichever colours he's wearing down the years. And that's just another to add to the collection. And as soon as he has scored, they've thrown on another big centre forward in uh, Ate Nuyu. Gary Gardner giving way. And uh, Keelan Lavery is the other new player to come on. 
So two changes that Sheffield Wednesday had prepared before scoring an equaliser occur regardless of the fact that they have now drawn level. Goma give way, Lavery and Big Nuhu come on. Nuhu, six foot six, Austrian. Classic target man, centre forward, of the sort you need when you're chasing a cup tie. They're not quite chasing it in the same way anymore. It's a positive step from uh, Stuart Gray. We'll wait and see if Chris Shooton blinks or carries on the way he is with his team. So there is a confirmation of the changes to which we referred. Kevin Lavery, the 21-year-old Northern Irishman. He's played for Canada as well. In by Maguire! And Nuhu has it smuggled off his toe, almost on the line. What a first touch that might have been. Well, it's Maguire's free kicks again, causing all sorts of problems in there. They don't deal with it, Charlton. That could have been double trouble. Half an hour to play, just more. Lavery. I suppose now it's a personal time to let you know that should they finish all square here, remember this is not a replay, it's just the rearrangement. The replay would be next Tuesday, the 4th of March. So, at the Valley. Well the way Wednesday have started the second half higher tempo got themselves back into the game and his physical presence Nui, is going to be an issue for Charlton at the back most certainly it's funny the big players the 6 foot 5s the big sixes, don't always jump as well as you think we'll see if Nui comes into that camp or whether he is a Central NBA All-Star. Wilson. Cousins wide. Got it back to Wilson. This kick from Matuk. Oh, uh, Danovic. Uh, I thought he might be in for a moment then. I think Palmer knew exactly. He was aware that Harriet was on the back of him and he just hooks it away. By oh, Danovic. An awful lot of space. It's an awful waste. Wednesday's marking is non-existent, so he has the the free reign of Hillsborough. Look at the space and time he gets here. But you see, Church is ahead of him. There are runners ahead of him. If you test the goalkeeper, gets it on target, you say okay. But when you slash it wide like that, can't be happy. Yeah, much happier. This is a Yorkshire voices now. To those from south of the Black Ball Tunnel. God, shown to a Leon Best. Well, whatever it's for, Leon Best is not at all happy. Well, I can lip read some of that, some of it I can repeat. He's saying it's a foul. And Plattenberg is saying, I don't agree. reading the better under these circumstances. Agreed. Time by Hamer. Laura up above Church, who in turn thought he was fouled. Morrison wins it for Wood. Adanovic. Sorted out by Coke. Now best. Nuyu. Every going wide of him. Chasing at the back of Lovens. Matic. Run back by Poyet. Church shouts handball. Um, I think I agree with Simon Church on that one, but there we are. Poyet. Free kick against him. Phase of the game where decisions are going against players. They're not agreeing with the referee. 
and they start to lose their concentration, start to lose their focus. Can't afford to do that. And that's it with young players, touching it before. Their discipline, understanding of what it takes to get them through the game in the position that they need to be, i.e. a winning position. It's much, much better for Stuart Gray in the uh, second half here. Has a big league game against Middlesbrough, also at Hillsborough on Saturday. Good protection from uh, Jackson there, otherwise knew you might have been forcing his way in. Now Church, held up by Yoda, who's going to be booked for that. And I think that's what Church has got to do. Get the ball at feet, face Yoda up and run at him because he doesn't look as if he's got the legs to cope. He knows it because he steps across Church here, you see it. Does everything, to get the ball. Uh, two yellows in quick succession for Wednesday players. One at the top, one at the bottom of the formation. Best and Yera. See if Wednesday can defend a set play this half. Jackson to try them out. In by Johnny Jackson. Church! And it's back in front. Simon Church! The six-yard box to himself. Well, we've got our answer. Things have not improved at the back for Wednesday. Oh, my word. They've worked so hard to get themselves back into this game. Great movement. Played on side, Church. And this time he does not flop his lines. He's brave because Martinez is coming flying out at him. Good header, albeit off the shoulder, it doesn't matter as long as it crosses the line. And it's as you say, back in front. Not the cleanest contact he ever made, Simon Church, but a satisfying outcome nonetheless. Hugely so, his seventh goal of the season. He scored the winner not far from here at Huddersfield in the fourth round. And now he has 25 minutes between him and claiming the same accolade in the fifth. Be fair, Peter. I didn't see that Charlton goal coming. I thought the next goal would have been Wednesday. Hmm. No, that was certainly a goal that didn't go with the flow. Hmm. away. How do Wednesday respond this time? It's much of their post-break football has been of a significantly higher grade than what went before half-time. Can they lift it once more? Coke. Lavery, the young substitute from Northern Ireland. Wednesday's point of view, get corners, get free kicks, get it in the box. Because Charlton look no better at defending than they do. Is peeling away. Idanovic was bolted by Lovens. Well, that is cynical. That's ice hockey. You know, the Winter Olympics have just finished, but that was certainly out of their playbook. That's both said the halves in a matter of a couple of minutes for very similar offences, Yera and Lovens. And of course, the last one of these offences led to the free kick, which brought Charlton's second goal. It's a good old fashioned old school challenge. <laughs> Not it's ever been allowed, has it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you used to get away with it. Yeah. Quarter of the game to play. Jackson once more the dead ball deliverer. Church amongst the targets again. Morrison also forward. And Wood round the back. Came out to Cousins. And shot was into the crowd. Walker. Toyet. Third charge down. Now 
of the noise is London Noise. Music to the ears of uh, Chris Powell. I don't know. You don't know there's a long way to go in this game. As will he. Just seem to be looking ahead still. Sort of uh, that first cup derby for Sheffield since the famous, famous Wembley semi-final all those years ago. 1993, Mark Bright's extra time winner. Chris Waddles won the goal. And of course, scored for Sheffield United that day. As of course, one time of uh, those days, fabled season of two finals, FA Cup and League Cup. They lost them both ultimately to Arsenal. That's when it was a Steel City Sheffield, most certainly, football in terms. Morris. They get another of those cup ties very much in the balance now. Vitanovic on Lovens. That is a foul, certainly just a hex around the back of his leg. But you can see their church trying to release Harriet, and we've not seen that a great deal. And Palmer's been not too comfortable when he's been run out by the young winger. In my mind, just keep feeding him. Just keep getting it out there. He's got bundles of energy and plenty of pace. To say, recognising as we should, that Chuck will lead this. Contravention of the fairy tale that everyone in Sheffield wants telling. Chuck, as I mentioned earlier, have beaten Sheffield Wednesday every time they've met in the cup. For the record, Sheffield United have always beaten Charlton in the cup. There's Poyet going to ground right on the cusp of the penalty area with Maguire. Needless to say what Maguire wants. And Poyet's just moving away and he doesn't want to make eye contact with the referee. Now who's got a case? Well, the contact must be outside the box, wasn't it? Because he's pushed him into the box. Yeah, he's got in front of him, mistimed it. And there's a coming together. It's contact, it's a foul, but it's outside. making his point by insisting on the precise placement of the ball. He does it with a smile, and that's great. You know, there's no real angst in there, all relaxed. In by Maguire. Hamer's lost it. And Tadovic has given it plenty. I'm not happy. I thought Hamer was fouled there. Riviera. Sheffield Wednesday are preparing their final change. Jeremy Elan, the uh, former Manchester City wide man. The Frenchman is uh, preparing to join us shortly in place of uh, Benica Fobe. That hasn't occurred yet, but it's imminent. It's Maguire's free kick. Morrison nicks it behind. Again, you sent the jitters in that Charlton back line when that ball gets delivered in there. Maguire's corner. Against the post and Hamer falls on it. Mark Clattenburg's got a decision to make. Muriel wants to believe he scored. But no flag was upraised, and Ben Hamer's luck held. Oh, my word. Now, the referee's got another decision to make. I just need to say here, Gary, that of course, in the Premier League, there would be a watch vibrating on Mark Pattenberg's wrist. Or not. Here, he doesn't have that facility. And I tell you what, that's very close. When the ball is in the air, it's very close. By the time it comes down, a different story. That's his deepest point. He does well because he falls away from the goal line, Hamer. Just shows you how short Harriet is. He was jumping and it still went over his head. And it was only about halfway up the post. Oh my word. You talk about getting luck. You talk about your name being on a game. 
Well, we might have just seen Jones writ large there. That's the change we previously advertised. Elan, 21-year-old uh, French winger. Joined uh, full-time from Manchester City in July after most of last season on loan here from City. Johnson are making a defensive change. Shortly, uh, Dorian De Vitt is waiting his turn. In the meantime, no one knows what's going on. Because Heyman knocked the ball out. Now they don't know how to restart the game. Whether they give it back or not, someone make a decision. By Mouyou, not by Harriet. Here's Wilson. Harriet. Side against Church. Oh, going back to that, Gary, why did Hamer knock the ball out? I couldn't understand that. He was in possession of it. I didn't understand his speed just to get rid. You're not alone because I'm as befuddled as you are. I don't know. Hence the fact is why should Wednesday give it back? Right. from Harriet. This is awkward for Lovens. Important read by Martinez. Shoot. He almost has. Towards Nuyu, who is a vast physical presence. Leaves something in on Wilson. He's got no need to make that challenge, Nuyu. I don't get it. How can Wilson make a clean header? You've given Charlton every chance to, to rebuild the game from there. Daft. Look, absolutely no chance. Wilson stretching at it. He's never going to get a powerful header. You don't even make... Oh, oh. There's lots of him. Wilson felt most of it. Support a club, but they don't often get that many 24 and a half thousand and more. There will be still more at Bramall Lane if Sheffield Wednesday can make the trip. In order to do which, they need a goal in the next quarter of an hour or so. Jackson. Divic. Harriet, oh, Massick's left one in, and that is now three of the Wednesday back four in Mark Kappenberg's book. Sent off in the last round. That is certainly on about page ten of old school fullback defending. He's just switched sides, Harriet. So really, that's the first chance he and Mattock have had a chance to hook up. That is a vicious challenge. He's got to do nothing. All he wants to do is go sliding in. He's got nowhere near the ball. Oh, well, mercifully, Studs couldn't have much to do with it. No, sure. but you will get booked for intent, and he's got a limp. He gets caught. So Masek, yellow carded now. Jackson, not as good as the previous one. Wasted, considering how poor Wednesday have been defending their set plays. Give them as much trouble as you can. 3-1, you'd fancy Wednesday would have a real problem getting back into this game. At 2-1, there's always that glimmer of hope. Knows how deflating this could be, Stuart Gray. If it does get away from them. Well, it might be a blessing in disguise because they have to consolidate their league status in the championship. And Gibson goes. Elan. Say young players with impetuous decisions in the game. Another free kick in a dangerous area. Most likely Maguire's going to just trot over here, size it up, and put a ball into the box that will cause problems. It is Maguire, and it's a decent ball. And uh, unsurprisingly, Louis is up the highest, but to no great effect. You know, as a manager and a coach, you can tell your players don't give cheap fouls. 
around the box. Don't be silly. Maguire's delivery is good. They've got a couple of big players. Don't do daft things. But time after time they do. International came over here, has Northern Irish parents and is now a Northern Ireland number 21 international. Elan. But am I right in saying, Peter, that even though he's played for Northern Ireland under 21, he can still choose to go back and represent Canada at first? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> the world is his oyster. Church is after it. Lovens protecting it. It, it. Wouldn't go out for the Dutchman. Vladovich. Again by Coke. That's the pursuer. Good across. Increasing desperation now from Sheffield Wednesday into the last 10 minutes. Angst from 24,000 urgent citizens of the city. And no doubt many thousands of others outside of Hillsborough. I suppose Sheffield United fans can't lose, can they? They'll have laughing rights, even if they don't get the chance to win the game. Awkward for Wood. That's a hand is out to assist. Now he's got to be important, Hamer. He's got to make sure that set plays and defending corners and such that he commands his defence, that they are focused. With things like this, he's got to come out and dominate, make sure everything gets stopped. up top here, Chris Powell giving last minute instructions to Reza Uchanajad, the Iranian international, who is uh, another low lead from Standard Liège. Three foot 
in league games for Chris Powell. And this will be his first experience of the FA Cup. Not yet, though. Especially with uh, Harriet off the field. No further disruption required. Wilson. Made by Palmer. With so little time left on the clock, with a slender one-goal lead, you throw a free kick like that in. Oh. Palmer. He couldn't keep it in. on Saturday and then the following weekend geographical choice for Stuart Gray he either goes to Yeovil or down the road to Breville Lane for the latter he needs to win here but because of Simon Church he's six minutes away from losing Church has run a very happy race and the man whose surname is sufficiently long that his first name is printed on the back of his shirt Guchanajad will play the last five minutes and more of the tie. Will you call him Reza? Or will you go for I him? I would to his face. Okay. You've been dreading that substitution. <laughs> yes, here comes uh, Elan. Good tackle from Wilson. He got to Uchanajad. His first touch finds it early. Compromised position. He's not the first Iranian to play at um, Charlton, is he? Is he not? I don't think so, no. I'm trying to remember the player's name, centre centre half. It's on by Lovens. Away by Fox. In by Maguire, shouting hands. He's had an important role to play tonight, goalkeeper Hamer. Patrolling the edge of his 18-yard area, stopping through balls in behind his defence, and now commanding against the aerial threat of Nuhu. Got to thinking about that other Iranian, haven't I? Sorry. Here's Yara. And by Lavery. Safe from Morrison. Could be a long last five minutes, these for Charlton. Maguire. Takes up against Best. Is it Kishin Ashvili? Is that him? No. All right. We'll end that line of uh, thought. Most definitely it's offside. Lines and right on the spot. Yeah, it hasn't been an FA Cup derby played in the city of Sheffield. So that takes out the Wembley one of a couple of decades ago. Played in the city of Sheffield for 54 years. Is this one escaping them too? In by Lavery. Hamer's lost it. What a tackle. And then blocked by his own man. As Cope followed up. Oh my word. Best helped Hamer. Whose luck is in big time. Oh, isn't it just a shovel loads? Great save to begin with. Can't hold on to it. He's up to pounce. Thinks he's done enough. In he gets lucky. Not only does Best block it, it bounces back into his arms. Oh my word. What are your lottery numbers, sir? Ben Haber has kept goal very well. But as you said earlier, Gary, a cut run needs a bit of luck. He's had his share. Here's Mui, though, onside now. The referee's going to have to take a view here. Woods was the offender. What colours the card? He's not the last man, so it'll probably be a yellow. Definitely a foul. And Mark Clattenburg has taken that benign view on behalf of uh, Richard Wood, the former Wednesday centre-half. Gets caught wrong side. Wood, to begin with, is all over the place. He tugged him once, tugged him twice, and even missed the ball at the end. By which time, he would certainly have been aware that they were facing a direct free kick, heading into the last two minutes of the 90 here. 
Lavery looks to disrupt the wall. Maguire would be the senior figure over the dead ball. Best is there too. Cope conspiring with Yera. Maguire the likeliest hitter. Just right of centre. This to stay in the cup. Yera walks away. Maguire measures it. Maguire into the wall. And desperately they smuggle it away. Harriet, the key defender. It goes out for a corner, but no one knows where it's going. No one's trying to put their boot through it and just clear their lines. Gosh. Maguire's corner. And the header over from Yera. Or was it Nui? It was Nui who dashed to the near post. Got to try and keep him away from that ball, haven't you, Nui, when he's in the area? He's too big, he's too powerful. This is uh, just a substitution that might have happened quite a while ago. I suspect it's for the good of Richard Wood that uh, he's been withdrawn for the last minute or two, having just received that uh, yellow card. Apparently he is also struggling with uh, a bit of a hamstring problem. So Dorian De Viet, the Frenchman, is pressed into service. Chanajad. Still going the Iranian. Toya helped him out. And Toya's got a free kick. And don't expect Charlton to hurry over this. Lovins does Charlton a massive favour because that phase of play for the Addicts was burning out, wasn't it? Look at that. Clumsy at best. He's already been carded once. And they can run down time here. To the frustration of Stuart Gray whom a major city occasion is escaping too early to play it into the corner and keep it Maitanovic see the thing is with a shot like that you're giving it straight back to Martinez who puts Wednesday on the attack you're best off knocking it out for a goal kick or a throw that's it launches Morrison meets Coke Denied the equaliser by his colleague Leon Best a few moments ago. Palmer. Coke. Lavery. By Wilson. The chaser. Danovic, well, he's offside, we can all see that. But it's a necessarily dangerous game, Sheffield Wednesday are playing now. Chant want to throw on an additional defender. Danovic has to be withdrawn and replaced by the hugely experienced Andy Hughes, who's been around the block several times. The Scunthorpe and Oldham, Notts County, Reading, Norwich, Leeds. 36 years old now. A bit of know-how at a frantic time. Palmer heaves it in. Yara looks to win it. Aylan continues to compete for it. Breaks for Maguire. Could be worse that for Wednesday. He's the guy who wants to deliver it. Maguire lines up a shot. Oh, and Hamer reacted brilliantly to the deflection. That's the best of his saves because he had to change direction mid-air here. Oh, what a wonderful save. Oh, my word. 
Maguire again. Heyman with both fists on it. And Maguire again. He's the bloke who could rescue them. It's a pretty uncultured launch. Yera looking to win it. And he does so second time. It's a pretty smart circus inside that penalty area. 90 seconds to play. A deflating moment as Lovens fouls right under the nose of Mark Kattenberg. Well, well, well. If that man doesn't get man of the match, I shall be extremely surprised. Gets my vote 100%. What a save. The strength and athleticism, having committed to the original dive, somehow to relaunch like that. I think he's still got one foot on the ground, so he's got the chance for a bit of leverage, and he pushes himself up. Outstanding goalkeeping. Yeah. Yeah. They've cast their vote. Yeah. The pin is in the balloon. The city is deflated. Unless they all come flooding back. Last chance. Lavery. Up goes Yera. 25 seconds. Palmer's got to keep it in. Martinez must launch. Nothing scientific about this. Belt and braces. Fox. And Maguire's deflection behind. And that should win the tie. That should be it. All done. Mr. Trappenberg has other ideas. It wasn't meant to be. The derby is now out of focus. His focus just on survival. Charlton kill Sheffield's joy. They've come here and pooped a would-be party with a smash and grab second half winner from Simon Church. And they have made their way into their first FA Cup quarter final in eight years. It's a picture worth taking, a memory worth cherishing, an opportunity that escaped Sheffield Wednesday, but Chris Powell has a big, big date in Sheffield to look forward to in a week and a half from now. The final score at Hillsborough. Sheffield Wednesday 1, Charlton Athletic 2. FoxSoccerShop.com Your game, your gear, from scarves and cleats to jerseys and exclusive Fox Soccer apparel. It's the destination for official team merchandise. Log on to FoxSoccerShop.com and dress like a pro today.